Hey, party people, it's Lex from PDQ.com. I am going to take you guys through getting your Microsoft OS Office product keys. Well, partial product keys, anyways. Uh, where this will come in handy is you'll be able to obviously find out, you know, what uh, I've got OEM, MAK, KVM uh, uh, licensing on your machines. And then, you know, you get a partial product key, so you might be able, if you've got two MAK style licenses, you can associate the right machines with the right licensing. One caveat, guys, this does not work well for Windows 7 machines. So if you get a lot of Windows 7 machines in your network, information is going to be uh, incomplete. So with that, let's just jump in and uh, we'll go to Options, Scan Profiles. We're going to do a new Scan Pro. We're going to do a new one, not edit. We're going to do a new one. New Scan Profile. We're going to name this uh, Software Licenses. And we are going to add a WMI scanner. Uh, again, need to name this. This is the table where we're going to find this software licenses. And then let's launch the WMI Explorer to go find the data we're looking for. I love this. I'm not so good at writing these queries, so this is a good way to help me find the information I'm looking for. Surprise, surprise, guys. I happen to know that it is in root SIMV2. Um, as you double click, it's enumerating the, uh, here we go, it'll enumerate the class. Here's the class. And then uh, when I was looking for this, I looked for, I looked under software. Actually, it's right there, software licensing product. Now, if I, I, I normally tell you to run these and, and I want you to, but probably don't want to run it the way it is right now, just for the simple fact that uh, it's going to take a really, really long time to run. So. Uh, we're going to go build the query, and we're going to put just a, a where statement in there. So let's just copy this over. Paste that right there. And I'm going to put a where clause, and the where statement is just going to be this. Where, right, where product key channel is not null. Now, because I put this in, I'm saving you guys a bunch of time because if you ran this without that where statement, you can go get coffee, come back, put your feet up. Eventually, you're going to see the data. This will actually, will execute it right here. It's going to run significantly quicker. In fact, fast enough, we can, there you go, show it on video. So I scroll through here, there's a lot of information that's blank. To be honest with you, I don't know that I need all of it. So I have built, I have written and uh, pared down what I need in regards to the uh, SQL statement. So just paste that pre one in, because if we sat and watched me type it, we'd be here all day. Basically, I'm going to get select the description, the partial product key, the license family, and the product key channel. Again, I run this, and now you're just going to see that information come up, which is exactly what I'm looking for, description. There it is. And I'm going to copy this, and then we're going to paste it into our WQL query window here. There it is. It's in Sim V2. I give it an OK. There it is. I can save this. And now, like any of these new scanners you build, you got to run it on the machines. We're going to go ahead and scan the collection with the software licenses. Off to the races it goes. Again, this is pretty quick. The only real overhead, since you already saw how fast it ran. Uh, the overhead is connecting, obviously collecting the data and then returning it. And as you notice there, we've got a bunch of them that are already finishing. So bird person, let's go take a look at bird person. Scroll down to the WMI table or tab here. And I've got applied GPO. As I do the drop down, here's the software license information. Here it is. Bird person's machine is Windows professional license family. There's the partial key and it's the, do, the volume type is WMAK. So collected that information. Again, now you can start doing um, dynamic collections on this type of information. So give me all the, uh, what you call this, the MAK list. We're going to go down and go to WMI software licenses where our product channel key contains MAK in it. And now I've got a workable um, dynamic collection. As soon as that membership updates with all my MAK licenses, there they are um, from my software scanner that I just built. So 
Takeaway from this one, guys, once again, you're gonna get partial product keys, probably pull some office stuff if you got that out there. Um, you can use it, again, in this case, I wanted to find all my MAK licensing. That's it right there. Usable information to help you guys alleviate some of your workload. I'm Lex from PDQ.com. Thanks for watching.